Hello Harry Gay Bibliobars, my name is Nicola Penfold and I am the author of Where the World Turns Wild. I'm here today to set you a writing challenge. One way of describing Where the World Turns Wild is as speculative fiction. Speculative fiction is the kind of fiction that asks a question. It asks what if. In my book I ask what if a disease had separated people from the natural world? What would a city look like with no nature at all? And what would the world outside the city look like if nature had been able to grow back in abundance? I've got some examples of speculative fiction here. In Boy in the Tower by Polly Ho Yen, the author asks, what if a dangerous fungus was spreading through London and it was causing tower blocks to fall over? In Flood World by Tom Huddleston, the author asks, what if sea levels had risen and London was now underwater? In How to Be by Bren McDibble, the Australian author asks, what if pollinators had died out and children had to climb fruit trees and pollinate the blossom themselves? I love speculative fiction. I think it's really interesting and enables us to explore lots of different things. And I thought it'd be really nice for you to create your own piece of speculative fiction. Now, the first step is going to be to create your own what if question. You need to create your story world. Think about our world as it is now and then change one thing that's going to make it a really different place to live. You could think about climate change and biodiversity loss and some of the fears we have about the future. Like in how to be with the loss of pollinators, or in flood world with sea levels rising? What if wildfires made the air so polluted that we couldn't breathe without oxygen masks? Or what if the sun became so hot that we had to stay indoors every day? Or what if storms became really turbulent and it never stopped raining? The possibilities are endless. It doesn't matter if you know that this question has already been explored in a book or a film maybe. Films are great for speculative fiction too and you might be thinking of a film and you could explore that story world. It doesn't matter actually if it's been done before because you are going to do it differently. You bring to your story your own voice and your own experience and your story is going to be yours. It's going to be distinctive to you and it's going to be new and exciting. So once you've got your question, just write it down, what if, da, da 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 and spend a bit of time just making some notes or drawing some sketches perhaps and thinking about what that world might be like to live in. Once you've got your story world, you need to create your main character. It's through your character's eyes that your readers are going to experience your story world. So spend a bit of time making sure that your character is suitably interested enough to develop in your story. What's their name? How old are they? Who are their family and friends? Are there things they like or things they don't like? Are there things that they are scared of? And what do they look like? You don't always need to describe your character's appearance, but sometimes it can be helpful for your readers if you do. So you can do a spidergram, a bit like this, a spider chart. So my main character is Juniper, so I put her name in the middle. She's 13 years old. She's got a little brother called Bear who is six. She lives with her grandmother, Annie Rose. She likes nature, stories, words. Juniper's scared of some things too. She has some fears. She's scared of the city authorities. She's scared of the institutes. She's scared of heights, we find out when she goes to the climbing centre. I do describe Juniper's appearance a little bit. She's got long brown hair, which she wears in plaits. And Juniper's got a friend called Etienne. So you, for your character, can create a chart a bit like this one. It doesn't matter that you don't know all the answers yet. You're going to develop your character as you write your story. Some of the things you write down now might change. And some of the things you write down now might just be questions to think about as you write the story. That's all fine. This is just a starting point. So come up with your character. Um, give them a name that feels really interesting and exciting to you. Now, the last thing I want you to do before you start to write your story is to think about a goal or some goals for your main character. In Where the World Turns Wild, Juniper wants to go back into the wild. 
She misses her mum and she wants to feel free again. What's missing or needs changing in your character's life? Having some goals can really engage your readers with your story and make them want to read on. Now, once you've got these three things, so you've got your question or what if question to create your changed landscape for your piece of speculative fiction. You've got your main character and you've interrogated them a little bit to find out what kind of person that they are. And you know what's missing or needs changing in your character's life. You've got all the ingredients you need and you're ready to begin. The blank page can be quite intimidating for a writer, but I don't want you to be intimidated. If you've got these three things, you've got everything you need to start your story. Imagine your character stepping out into your story world. What do they see? What do they hear? What might they smell? What might they taste in the air maybe? Are they with someone or are they by themselves? Is something on their mind? Are they happy or sad? or worried or excited? And where is it that they are going? I think speculative fiction is amazing and the possibilities are really endless. Your imagination can explore all kinds of things as you explore your speculative fiction world. So good luck everyone with your piece of writing and I'm hoping that I might get to see some of them. I really hope you're enjoying all the books on the Harry Gay Baby Obers Award list. Um, but this stage, I think, is really particularly exciting when you get to create your own stories. And I really do hope that I might see some of them. So thank you again, Harry Gay Baby Obers, and enjoy all your writing challenges. Thank you.